that okay, you good. are too. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I stand before you today and I thank you so much, everybody, for all the things you did this weekend. Everybody, all the things that you've done have made it be what it is today. And you can look and see the manifestation of the ideas, of the thoughts, of the prayers. You can see that the house looks new. And God has a message for you because he wants you to look new too. Turn with me. And I'm not going to mention names, so please know that. I just thank all of you who have helped, and I sincerely appreciate it. And everything you've done, whether it was in the public or in the private, before the scenes or behind the scenes, you did it to the glory of God, and he will reward you. Yes, sure as his word is true. Yes. I give honor to God, who is very first in my life. He is my redeemer, and he lives. And of all the creations that he has created, he is most proud of me because he told Amen. me so. Amen. And I thank Amen. him for his love and provision. Amen. I also yes. give honor to my pastor, Pastor yes. Anthony Lester. Thank Amen. you so much for yes. your confidence in me Amen. and your um, your pouring into my spirit. Yes. I thank you, praise and worship team with the band, how you guys have been consistent and showing the word through song and music. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to 2 Corinthians, if you would please, chapter 10. And when you find 2 Corinthians chapter 10, starting with verse 4, yes. would you please stand as we reverence the power and the presence of the Lord? Thank you for standing. Thank you for honoring God's presence. We're going to read together 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 6. I'm looking, it looks like most people are ready. And we're going to start reading and we're going to read it together. As we're standing together and reading, after that we'll pray and then we will hear directly from the Lord. Amen. You can begin. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. I'm sorry, are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the kingdom of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You may be seated in the presence of God. Dear Heavenly Father, I just love you and appreciate you so much. And I thank you, God, because you want to speak to your people today. Yes. Yes. It's a word of empowerment. It's a word of warfare. Yes. Amen. Speak, Lord, and not just in words, but in revelation. That they might have heard this before, but that they will never hear it the way that you are going to say it. And they will never have received it in the past the way they will receive it today. Because it comes straight from your voice, straight from you to your people. Speak yes. so that we will hear and then allow our hearts and hands to move with what you said. We believe it. We thank you right now. Your credit is good with us. And we walk in your power and deliverance. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus amen. Name. Amen. 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 Yes. So as we look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, yes. we notice that we start from the beginning in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 1 and verse 1 says now this word now shows facts the fact is that now Paul is in prison yes. the fact is that when he first spoke to the people he was rather weak <clears throat> Four, 
10, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 1, it also has four. For the facts, as we saw, give the fact to there are some issues right now in his life. But in verse 2, it starts with but. Just a minute. Yes. Thank you. So in the beginning, it starts out with the fact that he's in jail. But verse 2 starts with but. Despite, he's saying, despite the fact that I have a problem, despite the fact that there is some issue, I have a confidence. And the people were very, it was so strange. Why do you have a confidence? And how can you have a confidence? Because right now, you are in jail. And he's saying, you think that I have a confidence the way you have confidence yes, yes. in something that you can see. Yes. So you see me and you think Paul is kind of small in stature. Paul is unassuming. Yes. And so they kind of counted him out. And they thought, well, we're not going to have any problem out of him. All right. And, and so we said, despite the distractions, mm -hmm. despite the things that are happening, I have a confidence. All right. And the confidence is despite what I see mm -hmm. and despite what I feel. In this verse, he's saying, I have confidence even when I don't feel confident. Yes, yes. Can you imagine that? Yes. I have I confidence know. even when I don't feel confident. Mm. Because my confidence yes. is in the king. king. Yes, yes. And so this chapter is written to people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who are in God's kingdom. And the Greek word for kingdom is authority. And so God is saying, you are in my kingdom. I have given you authority. Authority over the situation as it may seem. And now the confidence that you have, the boldness that you have, the security that you have, the careless confidence that you don't care what it looks like, yes, this, yes. This, the security and the hope, it says here that that confidence, that bold strength is not in the situation, it is in the king. Yes. The king is what this is all about. Amen. God's kingdom. Yes. In his kingdom, the power that we have is because he is the king. Yes. Yes. So even though the situation looks like it is, and even though it looks like it's I'm weak. Yes. I D yes. Claire. <laughs> All right. War. War. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I declare war Amen. Yes. based on the authority that the King God Almighty yes. has given me. Yes. I do not accept the situation. I do not accept the addiction. I do not accept the abuse. God is in me, and so I come against this situation. Yes, yes. And I come against it as a woman, as a man of God. Not with instinct, not with emotion. Yes. I'm coming into God's kingdom. It means coming into God's life. Our life is a battle. Yes. Our life is a war. And we are declaring war right now on the kingships, the kingdom of this earth. And by doing that, I'm first in strategy, one, based on Ephesians chapter six, I am first submitting myself to the king. Yes. Mm. Yes. I am declaring war because the king has said, I no longer want you in bondage. 
to the thoughts yes. that have been coming into your head. I no longer want you in bondage to the imaginations yes. that have been floating around in your mind. Yes. Do, do you trust? I don't trust the instincts. I don't trust the gut. Yes. If you are having confidence in what you feel, what you think, what you look like, what your physical condition is right now, God is saying, think again. Mm. This war that we're in is not what it looks like. Amen. Everything I'm putting, God says, submit to me, and I will tell you yes. who you uh, are. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes. I will tell you your identity. Yes. yes. I will let you know in this king, yes. in the kingdom, my confidence is not in what the situation is. Yes. My confidence is in what my king says. says all right. My king says, I am adopted. Yes. And so whatever issues that I yes. have, thoughts that have come in my mind because of my physical parentage no longer works because I am adopted into the kingdom and the family of God. Yes. My king says I am blessed. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. No matter what it looks like, yes. I am blessed. My king says I am chosen, chosen. and I'm covered yes. by the blood yes. of the lamb. Amen. My yes. king says I am delivered, and that is what I stand on. Yes. My king says I am dead. I am dead to the past. I am dead to the old. Yes. I am dead to the old bondage. Yes. I am now alive in him. Yes. And so I take war on the situation that's going on, and I take war with confidence and yes. boldness. Yes. That's why we have yellow on this week. Because yes. we're soaring like eagles. Yes. We're not afraid of the fact that this life is a battle. We're not yes. afraid of the issue. We're not yes. afraid of the sickness. We're not afraid yes. of what you just called me. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because Praise I God. am a child of the king. And yes. the king yes. has given me authority. Yes. I'm taking war not because of who I am. Yes. I'm taking war because yeah. of who my king is. Yes. And my king has given me authority. Authority, and he has told me with authority who I am. So I stand now saying, I do declare war. I do not accept the situation as it is. I will not be satisfied. He has given me the fact that he has embraced me. I am embraced by God. I am free. I stand free. I am free of all addictions. I am free of all guilt. I am free of all shame. I am created by God. I am healed. I do not care what my body looks like. This is who I am. And this is why I'm going to war. I'm yes. going to war because now I know who I am. And I know that I yes. can win and I can win and I yes. will win because yes. Christ is in me. And yes. because now I is in, I'm going through the alphabet. Yes. I is in, Christ is in me. Yes. The king is now in me. So while I'm in this war, yes. while I'm in this life, I do not stand alone Praise against God. my enemy. Goliath is a giant, and there are giants in your life. But yes. I don't stand against the giant. My God does. Yes. And because yes. of that, I am justified. Yes. I am a king's kid. All right, I am now. a child of the kingdom of God. And Crazy. that culture is my culture. And I make that assertion, I don't care what just happened last night. Yes. I don't care what just happened yesterday. I don't yes. care what just happened this yes. morning. I belong to the king of yes. kings. I belong to the Lord of lords. Crazy. I am deep or delivered. Yes. I am deep or dead to the past. I am who he yes. says I am. I am loved by him. I am yes. more than a conqueror. Amen. And now Praise after God. I know what I am and who I am, I am. he now tells Amen. me Amen. in Corinthians what he's saying here is in verse 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not, not carnal, carnal, but yes. they are spirit through God yes. to the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds. So he's saying, put your war clothes on. Mm -hmm. Now that you know who yes. you are, Put your war clothes on. All right. Get yeah. ready for the battle. For the battle. This situation yes. is deeper than it looks. 
Yes, yes. That's why. It's the root. It's the why. It's the why that you do what you do, not that you're doing it. The situation is deeper than it looks. Yes. God wants the root. Yes. He wants the spirit. The spirit behind the issue. That's what they're talking about here. It's not what it looks like. There's a spirit behind the motion, behind what you see. So when you have that stronghold, it's not what we learned this weekend. It's not the liquor. It's not the reaper. It's not the battle. It's not the abuse. It's why the liquor. Why the abuse. Why the battle. Why. And God gets to that through his weapons that he is going to equip us with. The spirit behind the fight. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Yes. So I'm lining up with God, mm. with who yes. He says I am. Yes. And yes. He is the King of all kings. Yes. He is the head of all principalities. Yes. And all powers. Yes. And so this battle is a battle in the Spirit. Yes. And I am lining up behind the King of yes. all the spirits Thank and you, the Lord. king of all yes. the principalities, Lord. God Almighty. Yes. Yeah. I yes. am now being strategic in my war. Yes. Amen. I'm Amen. strategic yes. in the spirit so that the strongholds that are causing the issues are pulled down and uprooted. Yes. The yes. spiritual warfare, yes. the kingdom mindset, submitting to the king. First, I consulted with him and he told me who I was. After he told me who I was, then I consulted with him. And that's why I know the situation says that I am now strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I will not shirk from this battle. Yes, there there is big, but I will not shirk from it because I am called by my king who told me who I am. And now I'm putting on my war clothes and I'm getting my weapon. My first weapon. The helmet of salvation. Amen. Yes. Yes. It's got to do with what you think. You've got to think like me in this war. You've got to know that you are a king in this war. You've got to know that this life is a war. And the first thing you have to do is be consistent every day in this warfare. Every day you need to stand. Every day you use my words. My word every day against your thoughts every day you need to confront every thought that comes into your mind Amen. every single time a thought comes into your mind that is not like me you confront it you Amen. confront it with the word you confront it with boldness you confront every imagination you speak to every imagination with boldness you speak to it with my word yeah Amen. And yes. to speak to it with the word is because the word of God is powerful and it is quick and it is sharper than any two-edged yes, sword, sword. Yes, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the yes. joints and of the marrows yes. and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents yes. of the heart. Amen. Yes. And yes. so the way is the king's way of getting to the root of the issue is the word of God. And the intentions of the heart is the word of God. The attack will come in the area that you least expect it. And so you must know that you know the word of God. Amen. You must give affirmations, affirmations of what you know. Not casually knowing the word, but studying the word. Mm. Having the word in the area of your weakness. We learned that whatever area it is that you're not completely sure of, yes. that's where the battle comes. Yes. Amen. And so you must study the word. Yes. So why are you not in Bible study? All right, man. If you're in war. And you want to win. All right. Why are you not consistent if you're in war and you want to win? You must every day 
every day. Yes. This is not a miracle thing. It's not just on Sunday. Yes. But every single every time and every single day, yes. something comes against the word of God. You must address it like an eagle. You All must right. fly into that situation. Yes. Yes. You must say, yes, I will start that school. Yes, yes I will start that business. Yes, yes I will forgive. Yes, I yes. will move forward. Yes. Yes, I will. And you must do that every day. Every day. And so God in the weapons is giving us, I have here five weapons mm. that he has given us. All right. The first one is affirmations. Yes. The affirmations is to speak the word. And you must speak it in confidence and in surety. Yes. You cannot speak the word if you do not know the word. Amen. So you must get a handle on my word. I am the king, Amazing. almighty. Yes. How can you stand in this war if you don't stand on my word? Praise God. And so you must not just be casually knowing it, yes. but you must study it and say it a hundred times a day. When you say that something wants you to hold your head down, you say, I am the righteousness of God. And you constantly say, I am the righteousness of God. Yes. I am the righteousness of God. I yes. am the righteousness of God. Until you believe it, until yes. you know it, God has given me, has not given me a spirit of fear, but power, yes. power. love, and a sound yes. mind. Amen. Yes. And say it, and say it, and yes. say it, until it becomes a part of you, until you work out, because the thoughts, become actions yes and then the actions yes. become habits and yes. then the habits become character and then you are doing something that you don't want to do because the thought has taken form and now become an action inside of you and a character and people are known by their actions and so when they say your name, they say him, the blank. They fill in the blank based on what you do. And what you do comes back to what you think. So God is saying in the root, put your word, put his word. Did you hear that? Yes, his word. Not your word. His word, yeah. yes. There are ways that you feel about this yes. situation that you're in. You might be in an emotional jail. Yes. You might feel some kind of way about that. Yes. But it doesn't matter what you feel. Amen. I don't Amen. care what you feel. That's right. That's right. What matters is what God says. Yes. And you stand on that word. Yes. And that word alone. And you keep proclaiming that. Yes. Uh, and the yes. second, that's the first tool, his word. That's the first weapon. And the helmet of salvation, you keep that weapon in your mind. Constantly, constantly. Yes. Consistency Burn. is the second one. Constantly. We're not weary and well-doing. We're constantly in the war. We're constantly ready to win. We're constantly putting that word on every situation. And the next thing he's saying is, what environment are you setting? The third one is prayer. Yes. Come to the environment of prayer, prayer. every yes. day, praying. Yes. Check your environment. So we're in a war in the spirit. Yes. What is your environment? All right, man. Who are your friends? All right. True friends. Your true friends. Mm -hmm. Who are your friends? Praise God. Where are you going? Mm. Are you going back to where I delivered you All from? Right, man. What is your environment? Yes. yes. The weapon is yes. prayer. Yes. Are you able to pray where you're going? Yes. My, my, my. Are you going back to the enemy's camp from what I mm. delivered you from? My, my, my. Talk to God constantly. Yes. And then listen yes. to what he says. Praise Not God. what you feel. Yes. We are in war, not in the spiritual realm. We live in another realm. We're in the kingdom of God. It's not what we do. It's who 
We yeah. are. Yes. You yes. are a child of yes. God. Thank you don't you, do a child Thank of God. You, you don't yes. do church. You are church. church. That's right. You That's are right. the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. That is who you are. Thank you, God. And Thank so you. you are constantly praying. You are constantly talking to God about the situation. Yes. And when you're praying, don't tell God mm. right. how big your mm. problems are. Mm. Mm -hmm. You tell your problems That's it. Yes. how big your is. God, God is. is. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. So That's when right. you're in this environment, we're not weak. Amen. You are strong yes. through God. Yes. You speak yes. to that situation. Crazy. You stand on what yes. God says. You continue yes. to stand. You stand yes. steadfast. You stand unmovable, yes. always abounding in the work of the, the Lord. Lord. Yes. So as you stand, now he says, the other next weapon is the breastplate of righteousness. Mm. So God is saying, you don't live in this realm of what you see and feel. The issue is real, but I am more real. Amen. And so I am standing, and I want you to stand with me in my word. And I want you to be consistent in my word constantly. Not by what you feel, but what you know. And then I want you to be in a prayerful environment where you're surrounding yourself by the word. Why are you listening? Yes. What are you listening to? Your environment. Let that environment be the word. Amen. Is your environment giving curses in your mind? Mm. Because whatever you listen to is going to come out of your mouth. Amen. What we are now, God says, your next weapon is the breastplate of righteousness. He's saying, live it. Mm. All right. While you're in this realm, the yes. heavenly realm, the kingdom realm, you have a breastplate of righteousness. Yes. I expect you to be a soldier. I expect you to live this with sheer determination. Yes. Sheer determination of I'm going to do what God said yes. to do yes. no yes. matter what. Yes, right. Yes. The breastplate of righteousness. righteousness. Okay. is saying so into yourselves in righteousness so righteousness yes. that means do the right thing yes wow. amen amen that's your weapon yes. in yes. this realm yes do the yes. right thing yes you are not yes. the one that's cursing yes. her out yes you are not the one that's cursing him out yes you are not the one that's getting high you are living in righteousness, yes, righteousness. the breastplate of righteousness, yes, yes. righteousness, yes. that is yes. your weapon in this war, yes. you yes. must live right, yes. you must yes. do what God says. Righteousness refers to kingdom living because in God's kingdom, he sets up rules. Yes, yes. At the stoplight, <coughs> even if you don't feel like stopping. That's right. <coughs> what are you supposed to do? Stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. You stop. In your home, even when you feel like you want to snap out and God says, you have power, All right. love, and a sound mind, yes. then you don't snap out. That's right. That's because right. you have power, yes. you have love, and you have a sound mind. Yes. And you yes. say that, and you say that, and you say, and you say that, yes. and you say that until you know that you know that, that you, you know, know that you know. Yes. There are elements of knowing. Yes. There is a head knowledge, and Praise then there God. is a knowing in your spirit. Yes. And you are yes. to go in this battle knowing in your spirit that you are a conqueror. Yes. As a matter yes. of fact, the assertion is 
You are more than a conqueror. Yeah. And so you will conquer yes. this issue because he said you yes. are. Yes. Not because yes. of what you feel. Mm. Amen. Amen. So you are to sow into right living. And as you sow that, based on Hosanna 10, 12, you reap mercy. Yes. Ah. You break yeah. out the fallow ground. That means come real. All right. Come real. Amen. Break out the fallow ground. Yes. Get down to the root. Yes. God, you're my commander in this war. Why am I feeling afraid? Why am I having to reach for this? Talk to the Lord. Yes. And when you do, listen to yes. what he says. Yes. Because he says, you're feeling that way. Because you're not standing on who I said you were. All right. Go back to my word. Yes. Go back to my word. You yes. are see, I told you, a conqueror. More yes. than a conqueror. Yes. I told you you're chosen. You are mine. I told you you are a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So live like you are a temple of the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Yes. 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 For God said... Except yes. your righteousness yes. exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees, the scribes, and the Pharisees, ye shall not, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. And yes. so it's not that you come somewhere or that you look a certain way. It's that you live it. Live it. Yes. Because he lives in you. In you. Yes. You yes. take a stand yes. in your environment. Yes. If you need help, you go to a friend and you say, friend, stand with me. Yes. In yes. the verse it says, yes. pray, bring the bring your faults and sicknesses before the elders. Yes. That also, that sickness deals with weariness. Yes. It deals with discouragement. Mm -hmm. It deals with abuses. It deals with um, strongholds. Yes. Anything that you have that's an issue, break down the fallow ground. Yes. Be real about it. Yes. Face the truth. Yes. And when you do, bring Face that God. to the Lord. Yes. Live Yes. As he has called you yes. to live because Crazy. we are declaring yes. war. War. Yes. And war means living, sheer determination, awake to righteousness, and sin not. Mm, yes. For some have not the knowledge of God. Yes. I speak to your shame. Yes. Stand. Yes. Therefore, having yes. your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness, yes, yes, you are to live righteous before the Lord. We are in God's kingdom. That is our culture. That means you give the impression everywhere you go. They are to know you are there because you come with excellence, because you come with God's Holy Spirit, because you come with yes. power, love, a sound mind. You come with long suffering. Yes. Don't blow off your, tap, your top. Yes. Long suffering, yes. temperance, meekness, gentleness goodness yes. yes i said goodness yes goodness is strong that is strength yes yes that means if i did something that wasn't good i'm to go to the person yes. that this offense was against and say i'm sorry, I'm sorry. that's right amen. amen 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 you're in a war that's right that's what breastplate of righteousness means yes 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 and you're to stay determined with that. Yes. Righteousness then leads to bountifulness yes. and blessings. Yes. So, Amen. and that's what the Lord says in Psalms 1. Blessed is the man whose counsel. Yes, not with the others, but with God. Yes. So as you listen, you get blessed. 
Yes. Be sober. Be yes. vigilant. Because why do you think? Come on. Come on. Why do you think God is saying that? Come on. Your adversary. Right. You are in a war. Yes. Your life in the kingdom of God is a war. Yes. It is not a physical war. It's a spiritual war. It's not what you see, hear, touch, or feel. The feelings that enerate, that, that come into your mind, yes. the thoughts and the imaginations are sent to you yes. from the enemy in this war. Yes. You are to stand on the word of yes. God with the victor who is God. Yes. And yes. know that this is real. Yes. Yes. So he's saying do this because there's a warring lion. Yes. Mm. Y'all know what a warring lion is like? Mm. My, my, my. A warring lion is not going to stop. That's right. And so you must, you must get in this warfare behind the Lord yes. who's mighty in battle because he's not going to stop. That's and right. he, that the Lord is not going to stop. The Lord's going to keep going. The Lord's going to keep you yes. every day as you stand in him. Victory every day as the enemy wars around to, to, to try to seek to devour you. The Lord says, keep going in my word, doing what I say do. Yes. If you hear the dogs, keep going. If you see the torches in the woods, keep going. Yes. If there's shouting after you. This is what Harriet Tubman said. And I often refer to her when we're talking about freedom and going to the next level in this mm -hmm. war. She was breaking free from a physical bondage. Mm -hmm. We yes. are breaking free from spiritual bondage. Yes. Yes. And as we break through, as we go in this war, yes. dogs are coming after you. Yes. The yes. dogs can be people. The dogs can be places. Yes. The dogs can be things. Yes. But they're coming after you, and when they call you, Keep going to the Lord. Don't yes. go there. Don't yes. do it. Yes. When the, and when the yes. fire comes, they send out torches. Yes. Keep, moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. They're going to shout out after you. They're going to call you names. Keep moving. Keep doing what I'm telling you to do. Amen. Don't ever stop living righteously. Mm. Don't yes, ever sir. stop living righteously. If you want to win the war, you must live the way God has called you to yeah. live. Amen. Yes, yes. And then that's the fourth one. And the fifth one, he said, above all mm. in this war, dear faith, above all, you must have faith. faith. You must yes. say, I believe God. And so that means I see my deliverance right now. Yes. I see it right now. What would you feel like right now if you knew that your goal yes. is to open up a business? Yes. Well, then I want you to, to have that feeling right now and yes. claim it right now and walk like you're in that business right now. And I need you to have confidence. I need you to have confidence yes. when you're doing what you do yes. because God is with you. And so our head is not looking down. As we said yesterday, our head is up. Yes. I'm looking you eye to eye. I'm not intimidated because I am a child of the king. Yes. And so I have confidence and I believe yes. right now that God is delivering me. Amen. I'm walking in my deliverance. Yes. I'm talking in my deliverance. No, I don't do that anymore. No, I'm not going there right now. Because a person who is delivered doesn't go there. A person yes. who is delivered doesn't say that. Yes. A person who is delivered won't do that. Yes. And so what that means is when I act in fear yes. of faith, I don't go there. That's right. I don't do that. That's right. I don't say that because I'm a person of faith. And yes. that faith defines who yeah, I, I am, am. in yes. this warfare. Yes. And so I stand in faith. Yes. I live in faith. Yes. I believe God. I believe God for what I've prayed for. I believe God for what he's told me. 
I see the victory. I have the joy right now because I know that my Redeemer lives. lives. Yes. This is not a shouting message. Amen. This is a Preach. war message. Yes. This is a message for your yes. mind. Yes. Yes. This is a message to know that there is no weapon Form that's against formed me. against you oh, that prosper. will prosper. But there is a weapon that yes. you must, must take yes if you want to win yes if you do not take these weapons what's the converse what will happen you won't win Win. that's right if you take the weapons that the king has given you yes. in the war you will win yes if yes. you don't take the weapons that the king has given you you, you will lose. Yes, yes. And that is why we see some people who are sitting among us who are not winning the battle. All right. Because yes. they're not doing what the captain said. Yes, yes. Yes. I heard there's a lot of people in the service who are in here or know people who are in the service. Mm. What about if there was a commander, you're in a war, All and right. the commander says... Go to three de three centimeters to the right, and then one to the left, and then I want you to step down and shoot. Because mm -hmm. the commander has already, he knows, he's looked ahead, yes. and he knows that when you go three centimeters here, you step here, you look down and you shoot, that the enemy is right there. Yes. Look at bullseye, and he's done. Yes. But what... What person enlisted in the army tells the commander, I don't see it like that. Amen. Amen. Wow. Uh, Amen. Does that make sense? Come on. In a war, you tell your pastor who says, do this. Mm. I don't feel like that. What about, yes, yes. yes. What about that? Yes. What about that? Are you thinking you're going to win the war? Praise what God. about it when you're in a war? And the Lord tells you, I need you to tell the truth and not lie. Yes. What yes. about if you're in a war and God says, I need you, I don't want blessings and cursings to come out of the same mouth. Yes. And you say, well, I feel like cursing him out right now. No. That's what I'm going to do. Are you no. going to win the war? No. 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 If you want to win this war. Mm. You've got to follow the instructions yes, of, the of the Lord. Yes. It's that simple. Yes. Follow the instructions yes. of the king. Yes. He has a way for you to win yes. in your mind. And when you win in your mind, then you win in your actions. And when you win in your actions, then you win in your character. Yes. When you win in your character, now you have a legacy of hope. A legacy of victory, a legacy of of abundance, yes. abundance and wealth, not just physical, but spiritual and psychological. You will win if you use the weapons yes. that your king is giving you. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. above all, I know my redeemer liveth. Faith comes by work, but does faith come by work? No. 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 What is faith called? Hearing. 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 So what should you be hearing? The word. The word. The word of God. Yes. When should you be saying the word of God to yourself? Every day. Every, Every day. day. What yes. about when I can't control thoughts that'll come in your mind? But I can't control how long you let those thoughts stay in your mind. Amen. Because Amen. as soon as they come in, what are you giving them? The word. word. Yes. Every Amen. time. Amen. Yes. And so every time you're giving the word. Yes. And every time you are standing by faith. Faith, yes. Faith. Faith, no matter what. No matter what. I believe. Yes, you. yes. I've now given you. Yes. The God. weapons. Yes. That God talked about for winning the war. Amen, amen. There's amen. a four. Amen. There's a four. That means for the fact, indeed, it is so that there are some issues in your life. That's true. Then there's a but. Amen. 
The but is, but, but my God. confidence mm. is God. not in me or my issues. But my but is my confidence yes, is in God. God. Yes, right. And so God. now, therefore, mm. I will not accept this situation. Thank I do you. not live in this realm. I live in the heavenly yes. realm. Yes. And so I will fight with heavenly spiritual weapons. Ah. And then I will win. Yes. I see yes. victory right now. Yes. I see it right yes. now. I know it right now. Yes. And so if you want to enlist in the army, oh. I'm going to tell you who you are. Mm. Again, the way God told me. It's the A to Z that we went over. And yes. if you're interested in prayer, if you're interested in praying that you would be diligent in this war and in yes. this life, then I'm calling for enlistment to the war. Yes, yes. Whether you know you're in the war mm -hmm. or not. Amen. But if you want to enlist in God's army, Amen. in the kingdom army, yes. then we yes. are going to, as I tell you who you are, mm. as the Lord told me who I was, we are going to oh, open up the altar and we are going to allow you to pray Amen. and talk to the Lord. If you are interested in enlisting in the army, yes, I've given you the weapons yes. and I thank you, Lord. For all you've done and how you help us yes. to know to win the war. Yes. Yes. I want to go over the first thing we said was affirmation to claim yes. the word. The second yes. thing we said was consistency. Consistency. Yes. Every time, constantly, never stopping what God says do, you do. Amen. Yes. The second thing was. Third. Uh, the third thing prayer. was the prayer and, yes. the, and the environment that you're in. Yes. Check it out. If you yes. want to win the war, we're not staying, we're not in the enemy's camp. If we're going to win the war, why are you over there with the enemy's camp? That, right. ain't your, that ain't your territory. All we're right. in the realm, the heavenly realm. Yes. So yes. then that's the third thing. And then the, uh, and when, I over, when I'm here, and I'm praying, I'm telling God how, how I'm telling my problems how big God is. Yes. I ain't whining. I ain't complaining. I ain't putting the woe stuff down. I'm proclaiming my God is greater than every, every, every yes. situation. Yes. And then the fourth weapon we said was the breastplate of righteousness. Of righteousness. I'm living yes. it. Yes. It's the best of my ability. And yes, God picks you up when you fall. I, I, yes, I'm a witness. But when you fall, get up. back up. up. Yes. Get back up and keep moving. Mm -hmm. yes. Keep moving with that strong determination. Yes. The breastplate of righteousness. Stand there for having done all. Yes. Continue. 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 I don't care how it looks. Continue. 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 Yes. Continue. Yes. Continue. Yes. Continue. Yes. And then faith, the last faith. one. Faith. Believe God. Believe yes. God. Yes. Believe God. Yes. Amen. It's that yes. Simple. Yes. Amen. Yes. There it is. You've got the weapons Praise of God. warfare. If you want to win, if you want to win in the warfare. Yes. Yes, call it, God. Uh, this is um, Army Enlistment. Amen. If you want to win in the war. And Amen. you want to line up with what he says. Amen. I'm calling you for prayer. Praise God. First thing, Praise if you God. are not a Christian, if you.